Hello, everybody. Happy, what day is it? Someone tell me what day it is because I'm kind of lost right now. Anyway, happy whatever day it is. And um, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're warm. I'm cold. It's cold here in Toronto. I think it gets a little bit better tomorrow, though. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be live on Friday. <clears throat> I won't be on Saturday this week. Um, uh, my husband, um, one of his best friends, passed away back in April, and it's his birthday on Saturday. So his mom's coming down, and we're going over to another friend's house to have some food and some drinks and a little, just a little birthday party for his friend in heaven um, or up in the sky, whatever you believe. Anyways, I don't talk about. Okay, <laughs> so that's what we're doing on Saturday, and Friday, I have patients probably up until 6 o'clock, so um, I don't know if I'm going to go live. If it pops up that I'm live at 8 o'clock, it does. I don't know what my day is going to be like, so um, if it doesn't show at 8 o'clock that I'm not there, that I'm just not there. <laughs> I would probably have my pajamas on and ready to lie down and binge watch something. Fridays are always brutal, I find, <clears throat> when I have patience. Anyways, um, we're unboxing something today. We do have the January Look Fantastic. I grabbed something from Sephora. It's just a little tiny thing, but I'll tell you why I did it. Because on my Spin to Win Facebook page um, a couple days ago, I think it was Miss Tracy won the a gift card, a $25 gift card. So she chose Sephora. And when I went, and this is twice now, because somebody else had won a gift card for Sephora a couple of weeks ago. And when I went to go and purchase the Sephora gift card, it, it wouldn't let me do it. It was weird, it wouldn't let me do it. So I'm thinking, okay, is there something wrong with my account? Maybe I should try to buy something. So I went ahead and I'm like, I'm just gonna throw something, any old thing. I got some samples, I got Burberry Hero. Is that a men's cologne? I'm thinking it's a men's cologne. And I got, ooh, the Quay Fine to Medium Hair Treatment Mask. I might give that a try. I also got a mission from Top Box Circle for um, this. Kerastasi? I didn't say that right. But this is like, I don't know what it is. It's a treatment for your hair for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. And I also got the bottle of shampoo to go with it. You use this once a week. So I got that from my first, I'm telling you, is my first mission, I think in well over a year. I was like freaked when I opened my mailbox and it was there. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a mission. Okay, let's smell this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's men's. Smells all right. Okay. Anyways, so I'm like, well, let me try to buy something to see if there's something wrong with my account because it will not let me purchase a gift card. So anyways, I ended up sending the girls um, who won an EMT. I got some other things on the page. Guys, check it out. It's a Facebook page. It's a spin to win. Um, if you're interested and you want uh, to get an invite, let me know in the comments down below and I'll send you an invite. Um, right now I have some pretty shirts on the page for two bucks a number and some bras because you know bras are freaking expensive right for a buck a number um, and then there's still some really good makeup prizes on the page we're trying to fill that up and I'll be posting other things but I try not to bombard the page with so much um, there's some like cleaners there some towels and stuff on the page so um, get some numbers anyways this is what I bought and apparently my Sephora account works to purchase everything except for the gift card. <laughs> so um, I'll still post like Sephora gift cards and stuff like that on my page. It's just if you win, I'll probably end up having to send you money. And I'll, well, I'll send you the EMT for that amount instead, right? Anyway, I can't open this. But this is the Beauty Blender Soap. Um, I mentioned it's 12 bucks, I think, at Sephora. I absolutely love it. I use this for all of my brushes when I clean it. And I always like to make sure... I have an extra in my drawer and I knew I had one soap in here I haven't opened these yet because um, come March I'll throw away the sponge that I'm using and then I'll pop this open and I'll have this one for March 
April, May, June, in July, I'll pop one open, August, September, October, and October, I'll use the next one, and then before you know it, it's Christmas again, and Beauty Blender's always got great um, deals on Sephora on their Beauty Blender, so I got an extra one of these, because they definitely come in handy. Anyways, we got Look Fantastic. So Look Fantastic is a um, UK subscription. And it cost me $20.50 a month. And what I love about this box is, you know how with discounts you sign up for three, six, nine months, 12 months, and you get a discount off your box? Um, this company don't take your money all at once. So when I sign up for 12 months, I pay $20.50 for this box in Canadian. That's it. If you, It's supposed to come out of your account on the first of every month. Sometimes it's the second, sometimes it's the third, and sometimes you wait like I did this month because they had issues. Anyway, um, so it's here. And this box has been, my, was one of my favorite boxes for three years. I think I've been getting this box now, three, four years. I don't know, because I know I was getting this box long before I made my YouTube channel. Um, but I don't know, in the last year or so, it doesn't excite me that much. And I, the reason being is I'm not a big skincare fanatic. You know, like, I don't purchase a lot of different skincare. I have my routine that works for me. And my skin is so sensitive. It's like every time I try something new, I burn. It breaks out. It just don't work. So I usually stick with what I know works for me, right? So I'm not a big skincare queen because of that. You know what I mean? And and I honestly, I often don't wear, use um, serums, toners. I pretty much clean my face. Eye cream, moisturizer in the morning and in the evening eye cream and night cream and clean my face that's that's my routine most of the time sometimes I might reach for a serum but that's it that's my routine I don't do anything more because I find if I put a lot of stuff on my face it breaks out so I leave it honest to god I leave it I know a lot of people like the nine 12 step set skincare routine my face don't like that and everybody is different right so you don't need to have a 12 step skincare routine unless you want to unless it's good for your face you know some people's skin is different it's not good for mine i break out when i put too much on there so this box i find there's a lot of skincare that comes in this box so and a lot of it just ends up in my drawer and a lot of it is from brands that we don't know because they're from the uk but they're good brands happiness starts from within that is so true so true you know, I can honestly tell you that when I looked my best back when I was younger and looked my absolute best, I felt my worst. Honest to God. And it was like a journey to try to feel as good on the inside that I thought, okay, I look good today. You know what I mean? That was a journey. And uh, now I feel my best <laughs> and I probably don't look my best. <laughs> Funny, huh? Okay, so you get a little thingy here that tells you what's coming. Look Fantastic also has a Valentine's Day box coming out. Let me know if you want to see spoilers on that. So, in February's box, the sneak peek is going to be the Pixie Glow Tonic. Exfoliating Tonic. Now, I know a lot of people love this by uh, Pixie. A lot of people love this Glow Tonic. But again, this don't excite me because... I don't reach for it. I got so much skincare that I don't touch, right? Little sample sizes, I just don't touch it. Because my skin goes, nope, not today. Anyway, this is what the box looks like inside. I do have a link down below. Um, so I'm debating, my subscription is up in August and I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna resubscribe. And I talked about this last year before my subscription was up last August and I was gonna cancel and I totally forgot. And then it automatically renewed. Um, I could go and cancel it right now and not have to worry about it. But I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of like, do I unbox it? Do I not? Do you guys like to see this box? You know, so I kept it. Anyways, oh my gentle Lord, are you kidding me? Not that bloody brand again in my box. <sighs> now, you know what it is? And I'm scared of this one. Let me tell you, this one scars me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, 
plus a mystery product. So number one is this. We've had this before. I mean, I have two or three around here. This is a Skin Chemist Rose Quartz Lip Plump. Um, it doesn't tell you the price, but it's full size, and I got, I have this. Oh, crackers. Sorry there, buddy, but nope, she didn't give me your prescription today. Let's see here now. Um, I have two or three of those. Here's one right here. I don't know where the other one's, but like I said, I have it. I've gotten it before, maybe once a year. I swear to God, in either Look Fantastic or Glossy Box or both. And um, it doesn't smell too bad. There's a nice minty, mintiness to it. But I don't use these things. Lip plumpers, I don't use it. But I know a lot of people like this, right? I know lip plump is one of those things that a lot of people will buy, lip plumpers. And this is a good brand. Um, so, yeah. Got that in my box, which not gonna use. Number two is this from Bloom and Blossom, and it's an anti-age hand cream. Well, we all need an anti-age hand cream, don't we? Um, and my hands get so dry. Oh yeah, I gotta do my nails. Look, I tried to do something with my nails. What a mess I made. <laughs> I was doing polka dots on my nails. What a mess I did. I think tonight I might do my nails tonight. All right, let's try this hand cream. My hands are so dry, but ask me how often do I wear hand cream? I don't know. Maybe once every four months. It's not something I reach for. And again, I know people love hand cream, right? So if you're into like skincare, lip glosses, hand cream, you might love this box. I don't think I really like the smell on it though. Shea butter and ylang ylang is in here. Locks in hydration, but I don't really like the, it smells like a spice. It smells like, it's like there's some kind of spice in it or something. I don't know, like oregano or thyme or something like that. That's what it smells like. Okay, not my favorite smell. I mean, I got another hand cream here. Vanilla Bean and Noel. Maybe I'll put that on because I don't, I don't like that smell. And I also have one in, that I keep in my bathroom. No, I don't want to say once every four months because lately when I'm in the bathroom doing my nails and stuff, my hands feel really dry, I'll put hand cream on. So probably once... Once every couple, no, maybe once a month. But it's in my, I got a, a one in my in my bathroom that I use. But this one smells really good. Ooh, vanilla bean, no L. That smells really good. Where did I get that? I think I had bought something on a Facebook page, and the girl sent me this in the envelope with it. I like that. I don't like this. Don't like to smell that. That's in the box. Next we have this, and this is. Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. Oh my God. You put it on your pillow for relaxing slumber. I cannot stand the smell of this. It smells too strong like lavender or something. Um, yeah, had this in our box before tons of times and I'm not really a fan of this. So I'll just, I don't know, put that in one of my sales. Uh, I'll have one of these days because I know, um, the ones I've had before, I usually get a collection of it through the year, and then at some point I'll sell it all because people like this stuff. I know a lot of people love this stuff. I just don't can't stand this smell at all. My husband would kill me if I put that on our bed. Um, next we have, oh my lord, do you really think in what year would I ever put this on my head? This damn brand. Not a fan of this brand. Some of you are. This burns me like I poured hot grease all over my body. I can't use the hand cream. Can't use the lotion, whether it's this color, the purple bottle, the blue bottle. None of it. And this here is the conditioner. I will not touch this because it will burn my head. I'll end up bald or something. Something will happen. There's something in this brand that me, my body, my skin do not like. I will not, I won't even, I will not chance this. 
because I know I'm gonna have a burning scalp. Wow, I really don't like anything in this box. That's awful. Okay. Uh, that's four. One, two, three, four. There is page number five. And like, you know, a lot of you guys might love everything in this box. And that's how, you know, everybody's allowed to be different, right? You know what I mean? Like a lot of you might love everything in this box, but me, not so much. How come they got one, two, three, four, but they don't have a five? Maybe that's everything? One, two, three, four. Am I missing something? One, two, three, four. I think they have this screwed up. Because number five is not here. Anyways, we got this. This is the Polar Night Cream again. Polar Night Cream. It's legit. I can tell you right here. I can see it through a light. It's down here. That's how much is in the bottle. Um, don't use this brand. We've gotten this before a lot of times and look fantastic in glossy box. Goes in my drawer. Then I'll make a bundle, have a sale, and put it in the bundle. Um, wow, I don't know what they're doing. I'm combusted, everybody. Okay, last thing I have in my box, I guess, is the mystery. <laughs> lavender tea. I don't like the smell of lavender. Um, oh my god, I'm just complaining this whole box. This whole box, I'm like, I don't like anything in this box. This whole box, I don't like anything. This is lavender tea. It's a body wash from Bubble Tea, 100 ml. Probably really, really lovely if you like lavender, um, but I don't. So, maybe I shouldn't have fought so hard to get this box because, but it's a, but see, here's the thing. It is a great box. It's well worth the $20 if you like the items inside the box. If you like the items inside the box, it's well worth the $20. But you have to like what's in there. And everybody is different. So some of you might love the box, and that's okay, right? I don't, and that's okay too. You know what I mean? Um, but, I mean, this is a great company, Bubble Tea. You know, it's a nice size of a, a body wash, right? Citrus, lavender, and tea extract to soothe your skin and relax your mind, girl. Right. Some people might love that. Some people might love this brand. You know what I mean? Um, Polar. I, mean, I like their um, sunscreen. I got a sunscreen this size one year, and I used it all up. I like their sunscreen. Um, I don't wear lip glosses, and I don't do lip plumpers. So, not for me, but... I know a lot of people love this, you know what I mean? Great brand, another great brand. I know people love this pillow spray, deep sleep pillow spray. I know people love this, right? Great brand. Um, Bloom and Blossom hand cream, it's another great brand. Uh, I don't like the smell of this. And this damn brand, um, I know a lot of you love this, you know what I mean? So it's a great box with great brands. You just got to be into it and I'm not into it, you know? So for me, kind of a waste of my 20 bucks, but for you, you could be like, damn, this is a great box. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, no makeup in the box this month. Usually they end up putting maybe one, sometimes maybe two makeup items in the box, but there was nothing in the box this month in regards to makeup. So, see, that's where I'm talking about, like, I don't know if I want to continue with this box because I often get a lot of boxes like this where it's great brands. It's just things that I won't use. You know what I mean? Um, so you got to, you know, be wise with your coins. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, let me know. Did you get this box and did you love it? And that's that. That's the tea on that. So, anyways, um, 
like I said, if I'm live tomorrow night, it'll pop up depending on how my day is. If not, um, I have Beautylish on the way. My cause box is on the way. Hopefully that says it should be here tomorrow, but I don't know. Um, Beautylish might even be here tomorrow. God help us if it is, right? And uh, yeah, like it could be here tomorrow. Both of those boxes could be here tomorrow, Friday. What a great Friday. I'm scared of that Beautylish box, guys. I'm scared. I've seen videos, I've seen unboxings, and I think I've seen one video where I like the items in the box. One video out of probably 25, so I'm kind of scared. Anyways, um, I hope you're all having a great day. And just because I don't like a box doesn't mean that you don't have to like it. You know what I mean? You can love this box. That's all cool. We're still friends. We can still sing come by ya around a circle. And if you want to, you can even pass the conch or the pipe or the dupe or the drink or the chocolate. Whatever floats your boat. Bye. Love you.